it's uh, actually a important decision in my life so i wanted to give my all uh, and you know prepare for it so uh, first three months no while uh, you know first three months into the program i was still working i was doing side by side so it was a notice period so Mm. So I thought honestly, so after joining Career Camp, right? So it was uh, anyway starting with the DSA. I thought I already know DSA, so I just blazed through it. But uh, seeing right. the you know my fellow students who were uh, working, so I saw a few guys who were amaz- doing amazingly better than me as well. So during yeah. this uh, test and all, which were camp- conducted each week, so so I know my standings, right? I am always in the top ten or fifteen, but still. Uh, i feel you know there are more uh, better guys sure. than me so i used to interact with them and you know i ask them how do you proceed uh, how do you approach a question so which i am not able to solve so so i got a good learning from them as well so after okay. you know three months uh, i came back to my hometown uh, since i left the job sure and uh, that is when we started with you know uh, the web development basics right so yeah we was working on those and uh, each uh, week we also have this uh, projects that uh, arpan sir used to give we have to work on it so it was a overall great experience so even node js i have done a lot of uh, you know good projects so even uh, like i was able to understand a lot of other things right how to incorporate things most importantly i understood how to google to get the things uh, done and that's it then uh, react came and you know uh, it made me very interested to you know work on those ui stuffs yeah and okay. basically the project so that is what i uh, you know helped me to you know get a job perfect perfect so seems like uh, like really like the fact that you didn't just like decide that dsa is something that you already done and just like me just skip that right like so Uh, you got inspiration from people around you that they are doing better and like you sort of decided to push yourself further so that's absolutely great and i agree right like i think the best part about career camp is that there is just like that constant nudge that hey do this now do this now do this right like if somebody i think one big struggle around achieving something is obviously hard work but i think a bigger problem is that even if you are ready to give hard work do you have the right direction or not right so you need to have the right direction only then basically your hard work sort of gets to results very very quickly right so perfect so i'm glad you got your projects as well you got the web development knowledge as well then uh, how was the placement process like like i think like uh, so like i know that you are really enjoying your job at avalara and like avalara is a great company it's a it's a public company in us and like i'm sure like uh, uh it has been great working for you as well so just like uh, want to understand like uh, how was that process like and also like did you apply to other companies how was that uh, like did you feel had to face any rejections on the way so just just tell us everything about your placements yes sir. so i think around uh, after 3 months into the program i think we got our first uh, uh, company which is sabal ara only uh, i got yeah. rejected in the first round and you you might have known the ars so he was the one to get selected uh, in that uh, so after that uh, I, like we uh, attended many other companies as well so uh, you know i wasn't go- going anywhere so around first or second round so i was coming out uh, getting rejected uh, and mm-hmm. after a few months right i was able to go to you know second and third rounds so it was like even though i was getting rejected i know that i am making progress yeah that i am able to go up to no further rounds as well and one thing uh, i attended an interview in paypal so through a referral from my friend so it was for a senior position but i had only one year of experience but uh, that to into a you know different domain but still i was able to uh, go into the final round of paypal Yes, sir. Wow. So okay. that gave me a great boost in confidence while applying for other companies, yeah. and there were other companies which I rejected as well due to you know location constraints. But you know okay. uh, the team from placement team they helped me a lot. So every time there is an opportunity, they will not just message me; they'll call me directly, and they'll ask my opinion to whether you attend or not. So these things are like helped me a lot. and uh, coming to avalara okay. so there was one more opportunity i got in avalara so i you know i think there were around four 
to five questions and I did the three and a half or four questions. Uh, I thought I'll get selected for the next one, but I think as said, my competitors, my fellow students were much brighter than me, so I didn't get the chance to move to second round. So after two rejections at Avalara, I think around the third one. So uh, yeah, I think yeah, placement uh, Garima called me and she has there is a one more opportunity you know for a front end developer role. Uh, how would you like to attend at Avalara? So I thought this time it's third time in Avalara. Anyway, I'm not going yeah. to you know, crack it. And she asked me, you know, when can you, you know, can you give me a time when you be available for interview? I just thought, you know, anyways, I'm preparing and I think I'll not get selected. It's okay, get, set up an interview tomorrow. Let's see. So, okay. just to end like that, but that was the time. So I cracked all those interviews, you know. It was most unexpected of time. <laughs> yeah, but I got it selected there. Perfect, perfect. That's great, man. So somehow, basically, you got rejected twice in the same company, and then you got the offer at the third attempt. So that's that's absolutely amazing. Uh, yes, must have been really really exciting. Uh, so uh, okay, okay. Uh, so you got Avalara. I think like it, uh, like overall on the salary, I think is pretty decent, pretty good, uh, right? So did you sort of decide to just join, or what? Like uh, were you applying to other places as well? What was your thought process there? So at that point in time, like uh, I was giving interviews in other companies as well, but uh, you know, uh, Avalara's uh, interview you know, procedure went a little faster than others. So I think yeah. I completed all the rounds in within a span of one week, one and a half week. So just went, so I got the result from it, you know, sooner than other companies. So I thought I'll just uh, join Avalara. I mean, it is a, a big name and they, you know, uh, give pretty good work yeah. and salary as well. So why not join it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Must have been a very relieved feeling, right? Like uh, being at Infosys, not doing, not enjoying your work, not and taking a huge bet that I'll just resign, I'll prepare. And then like getting rejection at like multiple places and then eventually getting an amazing opportunity must have been a very great feeling. Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, once you so leave how... a job, and you know you yeah. start doing something so after one or two months that you will have these questions in mind when you get rejected in interviews that i did i take yeah. a wrong decision or should i stayed there and you know side by side proceed with the learning so all those questions uh, come in mind so I, <laughs> everyone goes through it yeah. but after you know leaving the job and after you know five after five and a half months so i got uh, you know avalara so after joining here, like, I think that I made a good decision and that the wait was worth it.